Hello, Bob One Blade Six here. Can we get my update? Today in this video, I'll be describing menopause. Menopause is a form of chemical rise and lowerment in both males and females. Menopause universally is known only for females, but we trust to study from the very first era of chemistry, which is alchemy, into the present day state that both male and females have a menopause phase. Now, in the doctoral research chemical and biological chemistry and biochemistry community, that's a toss up because they can change the term like from menopause to stratopause for males and then they change it around in turn of meetings and stuff. Basically it's this it's different based on what degree you go under. Now, to further go into this, menopause for females can happen either before a period, during a period, or after a period. Most time it happens before a period. That's when the period happens, which happens for 30 days. Menopause happens for 30 days, and the period happens for another 30 days. In total, usually just two weeks, but it can extend to 30 days. The female body we go to this phase to the age of 30. A male version we go to this age of 40. Now, this is where it starts differing. Female menopause is the process and the process of increasing the brain hormones and increasing the sex hormones for the reproduction system to start fertilizing. It does not fertilize eggs to the third week. And that's when at their peak. And then on the fourth week, it started dropping down. Then on the fifth week, it dropped down significantly, and then the period kicked in. A male menopause, a stratopause, whatever. It's similar to that where the male we have a rise and sexual desires, but it's different from a female. And unlike the female who happened in the second and third week, the male happened in the first week, stays on longer until it, at the last week. And then after that last week, the male sexual drive would drop lower than a female until the next 30-day cycle after that first 30-day cycle. Here's a similar to come back again. Once they hit 30 or 40 or 40 for both or 30 for both, depending on where you go to, the desire will start dropping down, 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 down. You no longer get up in the water. Congrats. You're dead. This is when your body will start decreasing muscle mass for both male and females, the bone decrease for both male and females. Testosterone is a universal thing, so it's estrogen for both male and females. Testosterone and females build bone muscle, mass, and help eggs fertilize in mass, and the estrogen female help increase sexual desires as well as larger breasts and uh, a better eyesight and stuff. Male, testosterone does almost the same thing as a female self for a fertilized egg. It builds muscle mass a lot more than it does females, and it helps brain development. Estrogen in male will also pack on muscle, but not build muscle like testosterone packs on. Now, this is where things are different, different aging. Estrogen in female have a better benefit for them than it is to male. But, estrogen is required in both. A testosterone in males has a better fit towards male than it does to female, but it's required in both. For those who have a chemical disorder like bipolar syndromes or neostopper syndrome, the group syndrome, osteophyte, osteophyritis, whatever that bull crap calls, bone development, muscle development, males can't grow a mustache or male grows too much mustache, female body develops too early or too later in life, etc, etc, etc. That is due to the chemical balance of the hormones which builds the protein molecules or help the amino acids or help the enzymes in the body for your development practice. Now this is where research starts to differ as well because in genetic engineering, which I know, 
They say that high estrogen in males at an early start of life is gooder once you get past it until you get past the age of 28. Because if you, like I said, start different. High estrogen in males is good until you get to past the age of 28, and then that's when your testosterone will kick in and take over after, because it will maintain your youth longer, according to them. And then in doctor degree, it says it's worse for a male to have a high estrogen until, it's good for a male to have a high estrogen until the age of 14 or 15. And then it becomes polar opposite that for females. It depends on what degree though, because there's biochemistry, biogenetics, doctor, then there's brain surgery doctors that deals with testosterone and estrogen, then there's etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's like many different categories, many different aspects and many different outlooks on it. But the cycle of menstruation happens in both male and females. It's just a outcome and benefit both. The main purpose and goal for everything is to maintain your best physique or best peak longer throughout your life. Now here, this is where the problems start separating even more so. Being healthy and fit does not mean you live longer. I'm going to say that after now. Uh, I think I talk, talked about one of my videos if I didn't before. Uh, what's the word for it? Cellular respiration is the energy transfer uses of cells. The more energy your cells use, the more you can do, the more life your cells have, but that's a problem. Your cells will burn out faster if you use too much energy. I take that. Now that's what cellular respiration between the oxygen flow in your body. Okay. Now, take longevity of life. Longevity of life is how strong a cell is. It will get to a point where it gets strong and durable. Good. Now you know that. Now, if that cell divides into a daughter or a son cell, whatever they call it, that cell, the original one, will start to die off and you have a new cell. Now, this is where the problem will occur. If your cells has a limited amount of time they can divide, especially sex chromosomes, sex cells. Now, if your cells divide too much over time, your life will be sorted. Or if what would they say? One, if your one cell cannot last more than 30 minutes, every trillion cells in your body, you would not make it past 25. Now, for a longer lifespan, you want one cell to live long enough where it doesn't need to divide unless it absolutely needs to. That's the process of longevity. Okay, now you move on to the next subject. Muscle mass, being healthy, sex chromosome, all that stuff, eating, blah, blah, blah. Next section of it is fitness. When you work out, you burn cells. Congrats, people. When you run, you move your heart rate. There's a heart rhythm beat called cardiac rhythm something, but every creature have a limited heartbeat. All humans have a certain amount of similar heartbeat. If you run fast, run long, you're going to be pumping more fast. But the goal of running is for you to... Get an output benefit of it. It's for your output of running, benefit your input. Meaning, the more you outrun, the more fast your heart beat, the quadruple time it will slow down than that, and two times it slow down normal when you at rest so you can live longer. But for some people don't know how to do that. It's the same thing with muscle mass. The same thing with fitness. Now, here comes nutrition. If you eat sugar or unhealthy food like that, that can burn your cells out faster or make you feel good where your cells will start dividing more. Now, that depends on the person. Being healthy does not mean you will live longer, but being unhealthy will also does not mean you live longer. Smoking will shorten your lifespan, but some smokers have lived to 125, 150. Congrats. Now, that come back to menopause, which is the with chemical process of preparing for fertilizing for a female egg or a rise in the male sexual desires, which become high testosterone, low estrogen, or high estrogen, low testosterone. It's, like I said, it's, the research is different for both. Now, in this section, it states that 
sex in animals only happen when they're at high peak for the sole purpose of naturally instinctively creating mothers. Now, humans are different. Now, this is where research is going off. Humans are considered animals by some. Humans, if you look at a religion point, were created by whatever religion you worship. I don't know. A religion. And then there's another one, another one, another one. Now, I eat. For every sex that you have, your life will be shortened. It's the research on some. For the next area, for every sex that you do have, your life will increase longevity of it. That's the difference. Due to the one that says shortens life, you use your cells. Your sex chromosomes will divide to pass on your genes in both genders. But the male have a bigger problem since they are the host. I mean, not the males. The females have a bigger problem since they are the host of the child. And then that's where the researchers come in. They want to know why females live longer than male when their body is the one who give the nutrients to their child, not the males. And then on the other side, religion stuff, blah, blah, blah. They have that sex release stress in both genders. And that that will decrease your serial representation enzymes, which help control the division instead of having to divide over and over and over and over and over and over and over, which decrease your life, makes you die, makes your heart stop, makes your eyes die. Congrats. That's just a brief preview of menopause of one of my classes. I'm going to go into further talk and explain the chemicals in the body and stuff.